Hey guys, thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a step-to-step -step tutorial on chest to bar pull-ups. So for any of you that are wanting to learn it, to transition to it, you wanna learn how to do the form, you wanna learn how to do it effectively, this is going to be the video for you. I'm not doing a benefits video to chest to bar pull-ups. I've already covered that in a previous video, but a link to that will be at the end of the video. So if you need more information on chest to bar pull-ups, make sure you check that out after. For any calisthenics or fitness content, make sure you subscribe, because there's gonna be more like this coming in the future. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, so it helps other people. And if you have any questions, make sure you comment down below and I'll help you guys to learn and effectively do chest to bar pull-ups. Let's get into the video. So the first step we're gonna look at is our grip. We have to make sure that we get our grip correctly because it's the foundation from our pulling. So what I'm gonna be talking about is the actual grip itself with our hand, but also the width that we're going to be picking. So first off, I recommend going for a shoulder width to maybe even a narrower grip because ideally we want to be able to keep everything in tight. We wanna keep our elbows in because it's gonna be a much easier position to be able to recruit our mid-back muscles and actually turn it into a bit of a rowing motion. If you tend to pick a wider position, it tends to be a lot harder to really activate the mid-back because the elbows are out to the side when really we want them into us so we're able to pull back and behind us as opposed to keeping our elbows flared which tends to really mainly put the focus on the lats which is not something we want to do. So ideally I would pick a narrower position. Shoulder width is fine, you might find a little bit closer, a little bit easier, but find that position which allows you to actively really focus on pulling the elbows back and behind you. The other thing is the actual grip itself. People will tend to just pick a standard grip where they're hanging under the bar and even worse, maybe even a thumbless grip. What we actually really want to do is get our grip and get on top of the bar because it's a stronger position. If we are just hanging under the bar with a, a standard grip, it's strong, but if we can get on top of the bar, we can really get the flexes of the wrist involved and this is a stronger position than this. We have this position, it's far easier to put a lot more power into it and pull into it. So what I want you to do is focus on not just having your hands here, but your hands slightly on top and grip and pull in and actually lock your wrists into a position. This is gonna make this whole area far stronger. So when you're here, it's much easier to pull all the way through. So a nice strong grip and foundation is gonna make it easier to exert more force, which means you're gonna be able to start doing the chest bar pull up a lot more effectively. So the second step that we need to focus on is our body positioning. We're gonna attack this from two different fronts. The first one is going to be our thoracic position. We need to get ourselves into thoracic extension, which is basically the thoracic portion of your spine, you need to lift it up, okay? Typically, when we are doing pull-ups, we tend to have a rounded position or a closed position in our chest. This is gonna make it far harder to get ourselves and our chest to that bar. Simply by lifting up that chest and not doing it by arching your lower back, but just the thoracic portion here, extending it, you can instantly feel your back muscles engaging, which means that we're now gonna be able to actively recruit them while doing this motion, which means we're gonna get more tension there, we're gonna be able to pull with more strength, and we're gonna be able to build more muscle. So simply just getting into thoracic extension is a key thing. The next thing we need to do at the same time is we need to lean slightly back. When we look at a standard pull-up, people will tend to hang directly under the bar and they're focused on just pulling up in a normal motion and getting their chest over the bar. The problem is, is it makes it difficult because of our body positioning, our arms, our shoulders, other things can get in the way of getting our chest to the bar. However, if we get into thoracic extension, lift that chest, it is now closer to the bar, it now has a clear path, and at the same time, leaning slightly back, you can see how the body positioning and how we can now pull through, it's got a nice clear path. So simply just by thoracic extension, which is gonna be engaging your back muscles and also your scapula, so it's gonna actually put you in a stronger pulling position and also a safer position, we get ourselves in that position and at the same time lean back, it's far easier to pull our chest to the bar and really get the motion working. So focus on thoracic extension and the lean back to get your body in the right position for chest to bar pull-ups. So the third step we're gonna be looking at is how to effectively pull to be able to do chest to bar pull-ups. So typically when we are doing normal pull-ups, we're thinking of doing a vertical pulling motion. And most of the time when we're pulling, the arms, the elbows stay in a vertical position. Half the time, 
the elbows are in front and they stay in front. The problem with this though is we're missing out on the true capabilities of our back and actually actively recruiting our mid-back muscles. So the way in which we're going to be doing that is we're going to be thinking of pulling in an arcing motion. We're going to be thinking about not just pulling in a vertical position, but also a horizontal position in a way. So instead of it just being like this, it's going to be like this. That movement of pulling back and then behind is going to allow us to more actively recruit our mid-back muscles. And these muscles are extremely strong. Typically in a pull-up, we're not using them effectively. However, if we think of that pulling in an arcing line and thinking of pulling in a vertical and a horizontal movement, it allows us to get more back strength, more overall back development, and it makes it far easier to be able to do chest to bar pull-ups. Because now we're getting into thoracic extension, the lean back, we're pulling through, back, and behind. We're pulling through, back, and behind. We're really thinking about squeezing those shoulder blades and it's gonna be far easier to do that and squeeze and get them back with our elbows behind and squeeze behind. So think about pulling in an arcing motion in a vertical and a horizontal way. So now I've taught you the sort of step-by-step -step tutorial on how to learn the chest bar pull-up, I wanna give you some tips that are gonna help you to execute it and actually start building up into your training so you can get better at, at being able to do it. So the first one is actually gonna be adding in isolation work. So spending some time actually getting into that end range position or getting your chest to the bar is gonna be really, really beneficial because you're gonna be learning the strength to be able to hold in that range of motion. Also having the strength to be able to hold thoracic extension in that position. Obviously, if it's a position you're not used to, spending some time training there in an isolation way can be really beneficial. You can turn them into negatives if you want to, but just spending some time holding that position is gonna be really beneficial in you learning the chest of our pull-ups. The next one is actually gonna start doing chest to bar chin up. It tends to be a little bit easier to get into that thoracic extension, to be able to pull your chest to the bar when you're in a chin up position. So start adding in chest to bar chin ups to help you learn towards doing the chest to bar pull up. Because the other benefit is you're gonna be learning the range of motion, you're gonna be getting some training within that range of motion, testing and training yourself to get into thoracic extension, but also improving the pulling power of your biceps, which is just gonna make you stronger in the long run. And the final thing is actually gonna be start doing banded pull ups. This is gonna help you to sort of in an assisted way get you used to that range of motion of getting your chest to the bar and actually getting some volume while doing that position. So using bands is gonna be really, really handy. And as usual, moving to a thinner band as you get stronger. If you need more information on chest to bar pull-ups, make sure you check out this video. And if you like the idea of maybe doing chest to bar pull-ups and how it could possibly replace doing rows, then make sure you check out this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.